Our next question is the plates of a parallel plate capacitor are separated by D. Two slabs of different dielectric constants K1 and K2 with thickness 3 by 8 D and D by 2 respectively are inserted in its capac in the capacitor. Due to this, the capacitance becomes two times larger than when there is nothing between the plates. If K1 is equal to 1.25 K2, the value of K1 is so seems to be a lengthy one and uh, seems to be having more calculation part. So it will eat definitely eat your time, change level. Um, easiest one only, so because you will do while practicing, easiest one, but it will take so much time. So come to the concept, uh, you have plates like this, so separated by distance D, whose capacitance is C is equal to epsilon naught A by D. This is the capacitance earlier when you do not put that uh, dielectric between that plates. So now if you put the dielectric slabs like K1 and K2 whose uh, thicknesses are 3 D by um, 8 and 1 is D by 2, the remaining distance will be D by 8 because half it is taken and the remaining half is separated by these two. If 3 D by 8 is taken by one dielectric, the remaining space is D by 8 only. If you sum up, then you will get D by 2. So this is the arrangement of the dielectric between those two plates. So now the new capacitance that means C dash is equal to, it is double of the old one. That's what it says. So it is 2 epsilon naught A by D. Okay, this is the new one. Asking about the value of K1. So there is a relation between K1 and K2, but asking about only K1. So for that we need to take the uh, series or parallel combination here. So if you keep the dielectric constants like this, so that means they are in series. They kept in series like this. So who's here it is K1, here it is K2 and here it is empty. So all these three are in series. When they are in series, the total effective capacitance becomes 1 by C is equal to 1 by C1 plus 1 by C2 plus 1 by C3. So here 1 by C2, so here it is D by 2 epsilon naught A is equal to here uh, D 3D by 8 by epsilon naught k1 a plus d by 2 by epsilon naught k2 a plus uh, remaining d by 8 by epsilon naught a. So of substituting and reciprocating this thing we got. So everywhere d d gets cancelled epsilon naught a epsilon naught a epsilon naught a epsilon naught a gets cancelled. So only remaining thing is half is equal to this is 3 by 8 k1 plus 1 by 2 k2 plus 1 by 8. So we know k2 relation from the this k1. So if you substitute in k2 in from this, you will get the uh, you will get k1 value directly. So here k1 is equal to 1.25 k2. We need k2. K2 is equal to K2 is equal to K1 by 1.25 where 1.25 can be written as 5 by 4. If you reciprocate that one, you will get 4K by 5. Substitute that K2 here. So half, bring that 1 minus 1 by 8 to here. So minus 1 by 8 is equal to 3 by 8K1 plus 4, sorry, 5 by 4, 2s are 8K. This is also 8K1. 1 by 2 minus 1 by 8 will give 3 by 8 here, 3 by 8 is equal to this is 8 by 8 k1, 8 8 gets cancelled. So k1 is equal to 8 by 3 or nearly it is 2.66 something. So answer is second one, second one is the answer. So too much calculation part is there, so it will take your time, it is not that much difficulty because you know a parallel series combination formula directly by substituting the remaining dimensions you will get the answer, but it will take time.